Son, this <laughs> this turbo looks so much smaller now with the new manifold. It's crazy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, I haven't had my car for about a week now. Um, as you guys know, I recently just swapped in my new motor. And literally, it sat for about a week. And the only place I drove it to was to my man, Mike. Um, Mike, for those of you who don't know yet already, he's my fabricator. Um, he's fabbing up the brand new turbo manifold. You hear me? So, um, I'm actually waiting on Tevin right now. He's gonna come pick me up and uh, take me to Mike's garage so we can see. I don't think he's done yet, which is perfect, so I can get some footage of him doing the final welds. And he's also doing my intercooler piping for those of you who are getting on me about that. It's gonna be welded now. So, I'll see y'all when Tevin gets here. All right, man, so we back at Mike's house. We just pulled up, you know what I'm saying? Got my boy Tevin with me. And uh, we here to check up on the uh, Ultra Instinct lube. Oh, okay. Mr. Mike, sir. What's up? It's been a long time coming. How you been? <laughs> All right, so I got here just in time. I didn't miss none of the action. So as you can see, new manifold is in. It's welded. Look good. So based off what he told me, uh, he still has to do the wastegate on this side, and then the wastegate on this side is already on. And then um, he's working on the intercooler piping. So I'm gonna give him a hand with that since I'm here. But yeah, it's looking real good, fellas. Looking real good. So Mike's gonna explain um, why. Yeah, you can. So since the collector here is so short, these back two runners will never get to flow to the front to the gate. So exhaust from those two are never coming out. Ah, 18 pounds reveals itself. So what do you think? You think if uh, it can be fixed? Or you think this is? Uh, probably not. Oh, okay. Well, unless you got somebody who wants to run 18 pounds. <laughs> well, that pounds. could work. Yeah, if you got a built motor, this might be for sale. We'll see. Well, at least we know. Well, we have an idea on why. Um, but it's all good though, cause we, you know what I'm saying? We're in there. We got that one now. What you think? <laughs> Take it all in right now. All right, so I will say this after seeing the process of how you actually make a custom manifold and make custom inter intercooler piping and all that, it's a lot of work, man. Um, a lot of uh, mocking up, putting on, taking it off. I didn't want to show too much of that, but we are to the point now where um, we're probably about 80% done almost. So the manifold itself is actually done. Um, the first clip that I showed you, um, we still had to put the uh, wastegate on this size, the dual wastegate. And um, now the manifold itself is completely done the what else is done oh the dump both the dump tubes are done too. oh no one of the dump tubes are done and then this is the uh, intake for for this side so it's all one piece now so I have to eventually come and get the and paint this up get it all back black again I might rhino it for those of you who know what that means and then and then then the only thing we have left to do is figure out a unique way to run the intercooler piping from this side. So the first idea we had was run it from here up 
and in between this gap in between the tuck radiator and the support we're thinking about running the piping up there and then clocking the turbo but um yeah so we'll see smaller now with the new manifold. It's crazy. Make sure you don't forget your gasket. So with this manifold, I'm running two wastegates. Normally, normally people would run the same size wastegate, but um, I'm using what I have. So I had originally had this 38 mil before I upgraded to the 44. So I'm gonna use my 38 and my 44. But um, <laughs> all right so since the last clip has been a few days um we actually had to order this uh vibrant um two inch 90 degree turn because um obviously this is not a lot of space but because uh we got the master fabricator over here so he came up with the idea he was like man let's just we can cut a little bit of the turbo off weld the 90 on there and then you see it's connected to the coupler and it's just one nice clean piece that runs down to the intercooler so came out really clean man so only thing i have to do now is uh get the car back on the ground probably gonna have to jump start it because my i think my battery is trashed at this point <laughs> but i got jumper cables in the back but yeah man it looks really good really good so again if this is your first video on my channel this is mike and uh he doesn't have or you do have instagram we're working on his instagram we're gonna i'm gonna send i'm gonna put the link to his instagram and to his uh his facebook page if you want something done you can do it all man intercooler piping he made this entirely from scratch so actually no we're not done the only thing we got to do is make sure you get those laser cut things so i can get my stamp on here that and the intercooler piping it would be good but yeah man i can't wait to get this thing cleaned up and back on the road hey there we go man after this long awaited journey of not being able to drive my car the motor swap and everything it's finally done the new manifold is done and i do have a uh, old faithful right here um we still haven't a hundred percent been able to find out what's wrong with it um it may be the design it may need an even bigger wastegate i'm not 100 percent sure so i'll probably sell it um obviously i'm gonna let anybody who wants to buy it know the issues i had and if they want to try to correct it themselves by all means or i may may do a giveaway just give it away for the channel maybe uh 4,000 sub giveaway you get the turbo manifold even if you don't use it that'd be pretty tight but um yeah man so what's next is the tune we're getting retuned again so now we'll actually be able to see what kind of power it'll make 
with no boost creep been able to rev all the way out for those of you who watched my last tune video i was only able to rev out to like 7300 and because of the boost creep we had to that that had to be the rev limiter so we'll actually be able to rev it all the way out almost another nine grand almost i think i have to go and uh with a better flowing manifold better design manifold dual wastegate so hey i'm excited man so actually um as you're watching this video now you're probably about a week maybe two weeks behind but i'm actually getting tuned today which will be in the next video so if you like this video make sure you smash that like button and uh you see that right there yeah okay, go ahead and hit that that's the subscribe button and i'll see y'all on the next one the grand opening I come through and start smoking shit I'm creeping up while I'm approaching it